Although you are as black as the night only. Even, got it even though you are as black as a night. <laughs> <laughs> you know you are. Talk about Big Willie Styles right here. You know, mm. Big Willie been going through some hard times lately. It's not easy putting the hardships of your marriage out there for the whole world to see. It's safe to say that Big Willie has probably seen some better days right here. But, you know, if, uh, if he were to sit down and watch his 1999 classic, Wild Wild West, he might think otherwise. It's a whole new West. Uh, that 1999 classic right there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Big Willie think he has it bad right now. But if Big Willie was to look at that movie again, he might turn to his girl and say, you know, Margo, it really ain't as bad. As yeah, Margo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things really ain't as bad as I thought they were. <laughs> you know, if my career can survive that. <laughs> Margo. <laughs> That's why he kept his mouth shut. Yeah. He's got a face. He's like, bitch, yeah. you don't know what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's just keep this on you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it, it could have been, it could have been a whole lot worse. I could have been, I mean, I could have made the sequel to this shit. My career could have been shot because this is people. Nineteen ninety nine. This came out nineteen ninety nine. It's funny because nineteen ninety nine was known to be a great year for film. This was not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that that's what shocked me to say. Like, oh, this was ninety nine. This was ninety nine. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why this stood as a flop because yeah. everybody was hidden. Yeah, everybody was. Hit the 1999. Yeah. And you know what movie you turned down to do this, right? Oh, yes, oh, yeah. I do. We'll talk about okay, all so that in a minute. Yeah. But yeah, shit, all them studios are like, yeah. come on, like it's seven. <laughs> Bam! Yeah. 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 One more time. Oh, yeah. Blow, blow on this phone, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> shit, Will Smith came Will, up like, Will, oh, no, shit. No, no, I got this. I got this. <laughs> Snake eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He came and said, come on, dice, uh, be nice. <laughs> oh, no. Shit, I just did Men in Black. You know I got this. Crap. <laughs> It seemed like a, a, a perfect concept for a summer blockbuster. The result was a movie, however, that was that was legendary, legendary for its terribleness. We all know the stories about this. As Billy was saying, everybody's heard the backstories on this, man. Everybody's heard what could have been or some of the things that this movie, <laughs> this movie ruined because of its, its, its mere existence. Change the fate of some other films out there that could have been better, could have been worse, depending on who you ask. Everybody knows the the story of uh, 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 Will Smith. You said he was he turned down a little something. What was yeah, it? Yeah, in the Matrix. So do you need guns? Did I dodge bullets? No, man. Trying to tell you that, when that Will Smith can't. Will Smith, he did not dodge that bullet. You know, no one's ever done anything like this before. You mean like turn down some shit like this? I mean, yeah. as much as you know, the, this movie is is hated and won all these Raspberry Awards. You got to figure that Keanu Reeves and and Larry Fishburne got to think Wild Wild West is the greatest movie in the oh, world. Oh sure. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> it was, he's like, I'm still getting gifts from these motherfuckers. <laughs> all right, I get it. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Will Smith turned the Matrix down for what? What would what would become the first big flop in his career? Mm-hmm. He was uh, Mr. July Fourth. He was on a winning streak. He was Mr. Blockbuster back then. Yep. Had you ever seen this? Besides the one time we saw it in the, in, in the theater in 1999, uh, there was a time, some other time, I tried watching some of it, and I I just didn't. I was like, eh. So yeah. So this is this is the first time since then that I've mm-hmm. watched it from beginning to end. Same here, man. Uh, because for one thing, most people have heard about the stories with the producer, John Peters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. John Peters. Produced Batman, too. Yeah, yeah. he was, uh, yeah, John Peters <clears throat> gave, us, uh, gave us Batman. Gave us, you know, uh, the first really big screen cool version of Batman, Tim Burton's Batman. He's also crazy. Mm-hmm. He's a, he's a yeah, little. He is. He's nuts. He's a, he, this is a guy who was a, he, he was a hairdresser who just talked his way into the industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's also crazy, and and part of that craziness is that he has this thing for spiders. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's right. Arach- yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, yeah, arachnophilia. Yeah, <laughs> arachnophobia. <laughs> yeah, he ain't got arachnophobia, you know. He's yeah. like, arachnophobia. I want to feel you. This guy wants to. <laughs> 
spiders, man. <laughs> This guy watches spider porn. This motherfucker yeah. <laughs> just, just wanted to crowbar spiders into yeah. everything he worked on. He's the kind of dude that sit up here and jacks off to nature specials and mm. shit. <laughs> it's funny, though, all the interviews with, with other creators who worked on stuff that he was about to touch. You said, like, yeah, he was really he had a hard on for me putting spiders in this thing. This dude wanted to. Like, he, yeah, he like want, Neil Gaiman with Sandman. He's like, yeah, he wanted to put a spider in it. I don't this know. motherfucker, he, I guarantee you, when chicks come over to like have sex with him, he makes them put on a spider outfit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, he loves to do spider role play. That motherfucker probably jumps out like Spider-Man. He probably jacks off to Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah the, girl's like, the girl's like, you want me to put like a Spider-Man outfit on? He's like, no, no, no. No, eight no, legs no. and all yeah, that shit. Shower again. Yeah. Yeah. Who they send this time? No, baby. I need you to put on eight goddamn legs. Uh, all eight legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this yeah. fuzzy ass. T- <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's stories that, that are out there from people. It's legit. People like, why the fuck do you want to put a spider in this? When he wanted to do a crazy version of Superman. <laughs> You want to do this crazy? It was already crazy enough. He had he had three rules, and 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 this person is the one that told this story about this. He had three rules for Superman. One is Superman can't fly, he can't wear that stupid suit, and at the end of this crazy ass Superman movie that he wants to make, he has to fight a giant spider. The person who told that story, and I'm sure everybody's heard already, it's a great story from Kevin Smith. He oh, took yeah. about an hour to tell the story, and I was fascinated. I, I was riveted the whole time. Uh, he tells about how he was just confused about everything, but what the f*** is up with that spider? And he's like, do you know anything about spiders? And I said, I mean, no. And he said, well, they're the fiercest killers in the insect kingdom. And I was like, what's, what's that have to do with our non-flying Superman? <laughs> 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 you know what? As much as this movie get on my nerves, he doesn't do a great yeah, podcast, a yeah, great it interview. It has not. It doesn't have a goddamn thing to do with anything except I have a hard on for spiders. Don't wear that stupid suit, and he can't fly. He can't fly. <laughs> Why even make a goddamn Superman movie? No point. Because because if he flies, and the giant spider can't catch him, and he won't be able to fight him. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, when you when you hear those stories, man, it takes on a whole different context watching this movie. Oh, it does totally. Yeah, because you think that's just his logo. Mm-hmm. No, because you know, they don't explain it. They don't. But everything has a spider. Yeah. Watching this, his obs- his obsession, John Peters, his his obsession with spiders is everywhere in this. The movie opens with a guy. Now check that the, the way they set this up. The movie opens with a guy running from a, a machine, an invention that is going to chop off his head. That follows him. It follows him around a field at night. And what's he screaming about? <laughs> this is one the writers running run, running from the producers right here. <laughs> from John Peters. <laughs> Trying to tell people. Yeah. He's, 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 he's man, man, put spiders in this movie. <laughs> he's talking about this. Spider, <laughs> help! Shut everything down. Shut it down. Help. It's crazy. It's like it's insane. <laughs> you know, you 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 quickly learn like you have a villain in here, Loveless. What's his name? Arliss Loveless. Arliss yeah. Loveless, played by Kenneth Branagh. It's a guy who got the bottom half of his body shot off, but through the magic of Civil War steampunk technology, he's able to <laughs> stay alive and roll around on wheels. I saw a guy like that in Mexico. Really? Like this? Yeah, yeah. We, it was one of our trips to Mexico. He was on the street begging, and I looked down. I was like. He's got nothing below the belly button. There are some people born like that. Yeah, I was like, how is he? You can live? I don't, I don't know how is that well, possible? Because of his robot wheels. That's <laughs> what. <laughs> but there are people in freak shows yeah. that only have that. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah, this guy right here got the half his body shot out, but he's got that steampunk technology, and he got his two holes to go around with him. So, <laughs> he and got one too. Yeah, he got one too. But yeah, he got four. Yeah, four guys, four, four holes going around his army of his army of hoes, <laughs> and they are. I don't get mad at me. They they're prostitutes. That's how he yeah. treats them. And yeah. that, I mean, that's how they are. They are prostitutes. He's like just, they like he took them off, and instead of having them go out and sell ass, he just had them do his bidding, made them henchmen. But uh, but yeah, you know, you look at the villain right here, and you like, you know, the villain is really the producer <laughs> right <laughs> because he loves spiders so much and he's got a mullet yeah got a mullet yeah he got a mullet like him because for no reason no reason everything has a spider theme to it uh once my once my boy's head does get chopped off the, what does the blade got on it yep got a spider blade on it right there but as everything goes on you realize like none of this shit makes sense not call you know uh uh the, the spider stuff has nothing to do with anything. I mean, they just come out of places randomly. You know, you the, the movie is about uh, how we get two, I guess, government agents before they were big agents, how they got together. Uh, Kevin Klein is a, is a scientist. 
and a marshal. And a marshal, and then you got a uh, uh, Will Smith. What is he? What is he? He plays uh, what's his name? The U.S. Army. Plays. Yeah, yeah, ar- yeah, Army captain. And Jim West. Uh, Jim, yeah, West, James yeah. West. Jim Jan- West. Yeah, Jim West. And they this is how they they got together their first adventure where they're trying to stop this steampunk maniac who wants to take over the the U.S. because he's a racist mother. He's mad that the, that the South lost. That the South <laughs> surrendered. And, he, you know, he's, he's, he's got a, you know, he seems that he needs to bring, help the South rise again, even though he ain't got no legs. I mean, it, it makes sense as far as, you know, villain motivations sure. go. I like and that. Blue, 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 off, blue half, he's like, I lost half my body fighting for the South just for them to surrender. Right. That's yeah. some bullshit right there. He actually and I, says that. Yeah. And I yeah. love that. No, that's a great motivation. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, a racist, robotic motherfucker who yeah. wants to bring the <laughs> South back again because the Confederacy lost. He's mad. But that's cool enough. What do these goddamn spiders have to do with anything? <laughs> not Every, a goddamn thing. Not a f- no. thing. He just sends people shit that doesn't even make sense how it even works. He just sends people spider cakes. What the f- <laughs> where did these spiders yeah, come exactly, from, man? Yeah. And, where were they, and how did he know to say careful? Right, right. Were they living in the cake house? You know? <laughs> the vil- even when we're not on the villain, and the villain's not even around, everybody else is <laughs> spiders. Will Smith is. <laughs> Will Smith is out in the desert. I mean, yeah. fuck it, man. That's why I know. First, no, I was like, right. okay, this this whole thing with this spider motif is going to come into play. But when it gets to, like, other characters and they got to f*** around with spiders, too, you got a mental problem. There's a very large spider on your hand. How is it you know so much about the desert, anyway? I lived out here as a boy. I was raised by the okay, Nobody want to hear this serious yeah, for real, shit. Yeah, for real, I'll man. let that play for a reason. He's giving some backstory about how he was a slave boy that ran away. And it's like, man, in this 30 so, seconds. Yeah, 30 yeah. seconds. <laughs> like, ain't no emotion in this movie at all. This shit don't mean shit. It, after yeah, after it, he gets through telling this deep ass story, they go back to doing some dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And also, it's like somebody walked in and said, oh, you guys do remember it's, it's in the 1800s, so he's got to have been a slave. Yeah, he got to have been a slave. Oh, right. Okay, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, at that point, we're like, we're, we're past all that. Exactly. Yeah, I, exactly. I, I would have tolerated it an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly, exactly, because the time they do it, you're like, I don't f- care about that anymore. Yeah. You've already gone through way yeah. too much yeah, shit. Too much stupid point. shit. We've done Excellent all point. this dumb shit, and now you want to talk, now you want to bring this slave serious and shit. No, get the fuck out of here with that. Nobody want to hear this shit. I'm sorry. Nice, nice, ha, ha, nice, nice try. try mother- Despite all the dumb shit we're talking about, I did try to like the movie. I did. I, I hadn't seen it in a while. Kind of learned my lesson from talking trash about Demolition Man. Right. Then mm-hmm. you come in, and at first you're kind of like, you know, I mean, now that I'm away from it, it's a little goofy, but it's not as bad as I remember. And he <laughs> says, "Okay, yeah, you, yeah, you, we, you, you keep saying that. Yeah, you, you got something for your, but you know, <laughs> yeah. but you know, you have very two very likable stars in it. Yeah, too. yeah. very charming. I mean, you have Will Smith think, and Kevin Kline. Kevin Kline is very good in he's, it. He's great in this yeah. movie, and that, that's kind of what's so painful about it. I know, but my man is yeah. like somebody. Is somebody gonna help me? <laughs> like, I mean, I, I only got one life, right? Yeah, <laughs> come on, <laughs> guys." But, I, but if I we tried, all pushed together. I tried to like the movie, man. I re- I really did. I I because I, I like I like the the the, the some of the the uh, uh the, the the genre mashups that they're doing. Mm. I, I think it's cool that you got a western that's like sure. a steampunk western. I yeah. thought that was cool. I mean, sure. listen, it, it you know there are things that appeal to me with that. Uh, even when it was stupid, and it is stupid sometimes. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a, the I mean the, the the movie opens with a dude who's got a phonograph for an ear that actually that that that, that actually (laughs) that actually that 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 actually seeps puss She's like, damn, I ain't never seen ear snot before. <laughs> and that Jesus. was a kind of funny shot there when he does that. And Kevin Conn's like, Jesus Christ. Because yeah. like, you know this. the audience is doing that yeah, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Did I just see a man's ear, ear run? That, that, one, that, that was not earwax. That was ear snot right there. That shit was, yeah. I looked at that and I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. I, but at the same time, I was like, you know what? I like that the movie can get gross like this too. I like that they're doing Jesus Christ, maybe not. Yeah. yeah. Ted Levine was good in this too. Uh but yeah, uh, a little bit he's in. Yeah. But you know, uh uh looking at that, I'm I'm thinking, all right, that's stupid, but uh, you know, at the same time, it, it it's it's a, it's a comedy, it's a fantasy. Yeah. And and I and believe me, there were times I had to sit back and I had to say, All right, and I had to keep repeating that, man, it's a comedy. Mm-hmm. It's a fantasy. <laughs> Can't got, take it seriously. Got Kevin Klein coming up here dressed in drag, punching people with his titties. I may be a whore, but I work alone. <gasps> Damn, what what does the left titty do? Uppercut? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, you know I, I 
It continues to not get any better with it. There are moments where I keep telling myself, hey, man, but they, it's a comedy because then they get to some shit where they, they doing things. They st- like, I like the idea of, of, a, of a steampunk Western, but then they start playing around with gadgets. It's, 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 they start playing around with shit that Wally Coyote would buy. <laughs> they do. And play they do. With. They think so. so. That Negro would be impaled on a tree somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would not fall in there that easy. He should just look up and say, Acme. Yeah, <laughs> you exactly. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the idea that you can have steampunk gadgets that, that can do things, they take it too far. They do. At first, like they, it's like, if, oh, that's clever. Yeah, and, yeah. And then if like, they backed it off by half, you mm-hmm. can go with it. But right. I'm trying not to take it seriously. Right. He, the thing is, when they go, when they, when they, when they go big, it gets stupid. But they do some small things that I like. You know, little things like this. Like my man riding the, the steampunk bicycle around town. You know, the, that can beat a horse. This is technology that's coming up, you know. Things that are the, the showing that the West is about to disappear. You know, I kind of like that theme. I like the, what they were doing with it. Uh, so I just sat back and I said, you know what? Just keep telling yourself that this is an exaggerated comedy right here. Just go with it and we'll see what happens. I tried to write that shit out. And I'll tell you something else that I like. I like that, I like having a a, a, a a black Western hero in a big blockbuster, what was supposed to be like a a, a fantasy adventure where they didn't try to hide the racism. No, I, sure, I, sure. I, I, I like that too. I yeah. was like, you know what? I, I didn't remember this so much from back in the day, but I like that, you know, he's black. They, they are making, they are pointing they out, they are yeah. racist yeah. about it. I, I like when him and uh, and uh, uh, Loveless. Well, yeah, we're getting that lure, but yeah, man. They, right, right, right. They, uh, no, they, 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 like, I like they didn't hold back on the racism, and I like that you have a black hero in a big blockbuster movie. That's why I want to like this so bad, a big blockbuster movie where not only do they not hide the racism in it, but my man beats the shit out of racism mm-hmm. in the movie. Well, well. We got us a shy nigga. <laughs> I love it. Boy, he was about to, yeah. he was about to emphasize that yeah, shit. He sure was, too. He wasn't going to say it naturally. He said, we got, we, we got us a shy nigga. <laughs> yeah, he knocked the rest of them syllables out of him. Hell now, yeah. Hey, man, he, he, he saved him from getting canceled. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know what? They don't they don't jangle it up in this, too. No, no they no, don't. No, they don't. Well, they don't say it every two fucking seconds. Yeah. But my man, yeah, he was ready to emphasize that yeah, shit. Yeah, sure was. I thought he was going to stroll up and just say that shit casually. He's like, bullshit. <laughs> He had his fist balled up. And I tell you what, the N-word didn't show up no more in this movie. They said, shit, he ain't going to beat my ass. Yeah. N-word didn't come back at all. Well, we heard about that guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. It says darky. in the script, I'm supposed to call you a... Um, you know what, let's just skip that part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one tried that shit again in nope. the movie with that racism. Nope. Except for your boy, uh, Loveless. Oh. <laughs> Loveless, I, man, I forgot. I forgot how racist that motherfucker was. <laughs> it's a weird scene, too. It's an I, odd un, scene. Un, unapologetically. For real. I, and trying to be suave about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sophisticated. Real like, his man, racism. Man, fuck you, man. I forgot how racist this fool was in the movie because this was a Hollywood blockbuster. I thought mm-hmm. because it was a Hollywood blockbuster, they softened this fool up. I forgot. In 99. In 99. Which is really, you know, that's you different. You had to appreciate how how much he was coming with it. He was like, I don't know. Yeah, he shit sure did. <laughs> he said something you had that to was, think about. That was oh. every chance that he, he took every chance he had <laughs> yeah. to, to tell Will Smith how much he did not like his black ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. How nice of you to join us tonight and add color to these monochromatic proceedings. Well, perhaps the lovely Miss East will keep you from being a slave to your disappointment. Shit, you got me. Right. <laughs> but I like right out of shit. Like, like, we got two on him the last time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I did like how he's getting less and less subtle. A slave to your disappointment. You motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You see that on his face. The next one is just going to be the N-word. The <laughs> you know, yeah, because he's getting mad. He gets mad. He's, yeah. he's trying to be clever, but, but, the, but the next one was going to be, nigga, f- yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That was the next one. Next one's gonna be like, nigga, you know what? I thought you get the f out of my house. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think playtime is over, goddamn yeah. it. He's like, I'm the scrabble we play right now. Yeah, yeah. We may not have a woodshed on board, but that boy is gonna get a whooping anyway. <laughs> he said, he shit. said, God damn it. I it. Fuck all this slaves. You know what? All this clever talk. I'm gonna slave whip this mother. Yeah. 
<laughs> he didn't, Look, I've been patient, goddammit, yeah. but I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Fuck all Game yeah. of chess is over. No. <laughs> no. Ha ha ha. Play, <laughs> yeah. play time's over. Yeah. Bitch, I'm going to slave whip your ass. <laughs> You. He went to the woodshed reference. Yeah, woodshed. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah. take you out to the woodshed. I'm skip the plantation. Yeah, I'm gonna take you out to the woodshed. It, even right down to his his dying last words, man. The, <laughs> he Fuck. made sure if I leave this earth, when I leave this world, I'm gonna leave in the most racist way that I can. He he died as he lived. Yeah. I'm gonna get the last word, and the last word is gonna be racist. Mr. West, although you are as black as the night on the night. Even though you are as black as the night. Even though you are as black as the night, you black yeah. motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> fucking poor, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Even, <laughs> even Will You're Smith is like, cool. God damn, I mean, I ain't trying to be colorism, but I'm kind of light-skinned. Man. <laughs> you just don't have it in you, do you? Boy. God damn. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna get this word out. I'm like, yeah. Do you? Give me that boy. mother say, I know. Yeah. He said, hey, I'm dead anyway. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's, it's like the only reason he didn't drop the N word was because it's too many syllables. <laughs> exactly. That's what they should have done for the last scene. <laughs> Nigga! Of, of of Loveless man, I I if this had been a better movie, I think he would have been a memorable movie villain man. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. I, I, a lot of people are gonna criticize Kenneth Branagh because he's in the movie. I personally liked his performance. I, I liked him. Yeah. You know, it, it's, yeah. it's funny because I I was thinking the same thing. I was like, uh, they're gonna tear me up for this, but I, he's one of the things I was enjoying in it. Oh yeah, because of how hardcore he was. <laughs> and that he is that you know he's clever with his words, mm-hmm. <laughs> and he he's commits. A piece of shit. The yeah, he actor commits. commits. Yeah, he like does. He, he like you don't see him going. Oh, That's some bullshit. Let me just get through this. No, yeah. he's just like, look, I'm gonna do this, and yeah. he he commits to the role, and yeah. he's great. And he's not like, well, this is a goofy movie, so I'm just gonna overplay it. This means will be Shakespeare yeah. that he's handling. Yeah, and yeah. I mean that. I mean that. It's a compliment. I no, mean, I, I, really I, I, I I I felt like you know what? Only Kevin Spacey could do this the same way. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah, that is a good point. <laughs> Grams Will's missed dick on his way down. <laughs> <laughs> He's swinging by his dick. <laughs> Yo, true. man, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I say, sir, it's a good thing your kind is well endowed as you are. <laughs> <laughs> you may be black as the night. Start climbing up on this shit. <laughs> 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 um, While the rumor may be true. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I thought it was cool that they were not avoiding racism. Yeah. So that it wouldn't offend the audience in a summer movie. And then there was a moment I wish they had. <laughs> <laughs> there was a moment where this movie just turned around for me, for, for me, man. There was a movie where, a, a part in the movie where a bunch of racists, they bring Will Smith out, and they're getting ready for an old-fashioned lynching. I do believe we have had a series of major misunderstandings this evening, and I'd like to take a minute to clear a few of them up. We could communicate all the way to Baton Rouge. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I was like, I'd be goddamn. Oh, no. This this motherfucker took a lynching and turned into a can uh, a stand up comedy yeah, show. Fucking yeah, fucking Shaggy Green over here. Uh, yeah, I was like, I was like that I, that was a turning point for me too. Yeah, that was a very uncomfortable scene. Like, even I remember, I remember just like going, Ugh, when I was, it's just like, I was like, oh, were all lynching so polite? You're right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, right. They, well, like, they actually let the man. <laughs> all, <laughs> got something to say. Yeah, hold on. Oh, all the thing they didn't do was put a mic up in front of him. Yeah, yeah. and put but a spotlight on him. I was like, this mother. Motherfucker took a lynching and turned straight up, seriously turned this shit into a stand-up comedy show. Like he had the floor. Like the, like a lynch, a lynch, like like a this is like like, like 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 when has a lynching ever been a black man's stage? Right. The shit is stupid. Well, now, he's about to die, so let him get have his, his right, say. Right. I mean, they they made they made the shit. It'd be one thing if it was really jokes that were that funny. I gotta tell you, this is the first time I uh I saw a scene like this. And I cringed at the jokes more than I did the act of lynching itself. Mm-hmm. Sure, I like Jesus, man. And I mean, they they take it all the way to this uh, this this ridiculous comedy level, man. It would have been one thing to just have him kind of do his little stand up, tell some jokes, and all the white people are like, man, 
this and then got up right, there and started right. doing it. But then but, they got to go, they got to go in there and start putting in cartoon bits of physical humor. <gasps> that means no. Okay, darling, listen. Would it help at all if I said I thought you were a man? <laughs> she has to pass out. Yeah, she was like, how is that the what? proper reaction to <laughs> right? that? Right. Also, this scene goes on forever. It does. It does. It's 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 what we were talking about earlier. Comedian on stage is dying. Yeah. yeah, and it just goes on and on. See, Martin, what we were talking about earlier, this is the moment where I have to get up and walk out. <laughs> I say, you know what I'd say? I had to get up and walk out. I say, you know, call me back when y'all actually hanging here. You know, <laughs> that'll be less uncomfortable than <laughs> maybe that's what they should do with the funniest person at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> have a new just hang, you hang there. Yeah. <laughs> I said the hanging would be would be less uncomfortable than listening to these <laughs> lame ass jokes right here. For real. And the fact that they don't, there's no reaction of them. They they don't have a reaction. So then it's just like, so the character's dying on stage too. It's uh-huh. like you know what I mean. It's like yeah. it's weird. It's weird because they just keep going. Oh, oh, oh. That's this is when I gave up on trying to like the movie. This is when I I just said you know, and I wasn't even mad. I got to tell you, I was just kind of like stupid. I was yeah, I was just kind of like I was, I, was, I was more like, well, you know what? Because ah, because <laughs> up to this point, there's jokes that aren't really funny, but you know. Whatever. It's maybe it'll get better. Yeah. They're trying something, and it didn't really hit for me. But you know, kids could like it. And when you get to that point, it's it's one too much. It's like, man, I was tolerating it, but now you pushed it. You yep. pushed it to a point where I don't want to tolerate it anymore. And I realize that you're never going to get funnier than this, and this is woefully unfunny. <laughs> yeah. This thing has a way of being awkwardly predictive, uh, predictable of the future. I mean, because like, there's another scene here. Was like, well, I mean, I I'm not trying to blame you for it, but it is very awkward how you have a scene with 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 a Mexican in a cage. My name is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, Selma Hayek gets introduced being behind bars in a cage, not a prison cell, but a cage. Yep, yeah. like a bird cage. Yeah, <clears throat> I was just like, wow, man, you know, you. You were spot on about some of the worst things that nobody wants to spe- be spot on about. <laughs> Not in the way that you were doing it. Mm-hmm. Maybe if this was like socially conscious, but no, nah, you did it for the yucky the yuck. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck over there. <laughs> Movie, you know. I like I said. <laughs> and poor Selma Hayek, man. Poor Selma Hayek. Dude, she guy. has nothing to do with it. They, they, they never do. justify her reason for being in the film. No, nah, just. Yo, oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. They justify when she turns around to show that ass. Well, good night, and thank you for saving me. Good night, ma'am. Well, I wish I could show you that, too, because even that ass crack, the, t- <laughs> the tip of the ass crack is nice. Mm, it is yes, nice. Sure it is, is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, I wish I could show it to you. I ain't even been, y'all, y'all going to think we're being sexist. No, nah, we're just being f***ing horny-ass males. No, like, you know? no, they're being sexist. <laughs> they are being sexist. <laughs> yeah. There was no reason for them to do that, as, as hot as it was. They, get, yeah. they gave her nothing to do. They gave nothing. her All they gave her to do was to go in, and I'm being serious about this. There is something wrong here. They gave her nothing to do but to show her ass. Mm-hmm. They are equal opportunity ass in here. They. <laughs> this, is, this is funny because they... I will say this movie's kind of progressive in a small way. <laughs> progressive in his in his ass. Because <laughs> it, it, there's a lot of ass in this movie. Progressive in his ass. There's a lot of ass in this movie. There's, there's it, a lot of ass. First of all, it's diversified. They got brown ass, Asian ass, Asian black ass. ass. Uh they, they, you know, they didn't really get no white ass in there, but they were probably saving that for the sequel. But they but they got uh Selma Hayek just showing you the top of her ass cheek. For the ladies out there, our dudes. Will Smith went above and beyond. You see way more. I'm surprised yeah. he even showed this for a PG-13 oh, movie. Yeah. Y'all going to think I'm... You see a lot of Willie. You yeah, see, yeah, yeah. You yeah. see some... some, some, yeah. some you, see, you see some... Yeah. <laughs> and you turn out like... A little bit of Eastern Promises yeah. going on there. <laughs> like Big Willie and Little Willie over here. People, uh, <laughs> they, they... I had to pause this to see... If, if, really if, they, if they if they if they actually show now this is probably back in the day well no because they had people got DVD players and shit this is for all the people out there to freeze frame or something you know I mean, it's a it's a Dick Easter egg or something but they because they <laughs> Dick Easter egg. because in this because in this if you look at this now you're not gonna be able to see because we had to digitize it out but my man is spreading his cheeks for y'all boy yeah, yeah it's yeah. balls you man. see dick balls and asshole <laughs> dick balls. it's almost like he went to 
Like he went to jail and they told him to bend over and spread them. I'm surprised some <laughs> keys. He the combo. Yeah. He ordered the combo. Su- Dick yeah, balls ass off. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised some keys didn't fall out right there, man. Or He's- some spiders. Y'all yeah, spiders? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of sex jokes in here that just overall just are not that funny, man. You know, uh, a lot of the humor is, again, shorthand. Oh, we're going to show people's asses. Uh, Will Smith's going to come out and cover his dick with his hat. You know, you know things like that. It's, you know, they're, they're cute and they're not that bad but when because you know, they're quick. But then when you start getting to the, where they, they have whole routines, because that's what's going on with Kevin Klein and Will Smith. They, they don't really have any real character development in the movie to where they feel like they have chemistry and become partners. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the big criticisms was from the show – James West and Artemis Gordon were such good, tight friends. Yeah. And then here, this whole movie is about them, you know, the, the first get together and they don't get along. And you're like, all right, yeah, but when did they start becoming friends? And it's like, well, I guess. Kind of in the desert. In, in, the, cred- <laughs> yeah. in the credits. Yeah, kind of in and the yeah, desert. Yeah, 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 kind well, of. Well, I guess yeah. because we spent time together, then we're buddies. But. Yeah, because after the desert, Will Smith goes immediately goes back to treating them like shit again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. seriously. Like, no, he does. He does. Yeah, for no but, reason. But the relationship is really formed around just jokes, and a lot of those jokes are just sex jokes. These breasts are a work of art, aesthetically and scientifically perfect. They look like shit in your breasts. I knew it. Now, normally, Jeez. I would tell tell old blood over yeah. here. I was like, you don't know shit. You don't know a goddamn thing. But I get where he's coming from, because you get these two knuckleheads together long enough, the, 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 the somehow, some kind of way, if they spend enough time, it's going to strain into some gay comedy shit. There's so many they, homophobic jokes in this yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, this is going to be some, some comedy, uh, some gay comedy of error shit that always happens. Oh, yeah, this one. Hey, hey! Oh, sorry. And that would be my belt buckle. Gordon. Damn, look, he going for it. <laughs> Gordon, Gordon. Just, I'm, just, I'm about to, just pull it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gordon, I'm about to suck the skin <laughs> off of this shit. <laughs> don't, don't, like he, don't tell nobody, all right? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's trying to, he's but trying, here I go. Yeah, he's trying to unzip his pants with his tongue right now. Look at yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> shit, I ain't had a drink in a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, shit, I'm thirsty, just, and it has nothing to do with the desert. Yeah. Yeah. God damn, hell yeah. At two hours and this part in the movie, this late in the movie, mm. we don't need little side slapstick jokes. No, this is like, all right, you you got magnets on. It's can we just get to it? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Run from some blades or something. Exactly. Some spider we know that's coming up, so let's uh, yeah. yeah, let's get to the goddamn spider. Uh, you know, like you know, at least those are going towards a little bit of uh, physical humor. You know, I, I I they don't need to be there, but I get it. There's some points in here where they put in sex jokes where it don't even make any sense. It's like, man, that 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 shit wasn't even necessary. <laughs> well, no doubt, well endowed, black or more like yourself, it must seem absolutely impossible. Yeah, even when he's still going like black. I'm like, I'm like, damn. I'm like, hold on, he's gonna do it again. Wow. <laughs> well endowed, black motherfucker even like yourself. Even when he did, yeah, you're about to like, kill us. It, <laughs> still, really, yeah, it's still that racist is <laughs> what I'm about, baby. Well, no doubt. Well black or more like yourself. Black or more. I ain't even heard that. Black or more. Black or more. Black or more. I ain't even heard that one. I never heard that. I ain't never heard that one. Damn, bro, in that old fashioned race. Yeah. I ain't even heard of before. Like moon cricket or something. Absolutely impossible that a freak like me could fully enjoy the pleasure of a woman. Wouldn't you think that I could devise something for the lower half of my body that was hard, pumping, and indefatigably steely? Oh, fuck. It's like yeah, it, yeah, it's what, like, uh, what is that even doing what is there? That? What is that? Uh, it, uh, uh, a robo penis. A steampunk I, dick. I know, but I'm saying, why is it right there? It doesn't. There's no. There is no reason for that machine. <laughs> there's none. There's not. There's not like a giant vagina that's going into. There's no reason for that shit. To have that. To I have mean. that. To have that thing look like a penis. Now I can see if you want to shrink this down to fun size, people might buy this. But, yeah. <laughs> that fun. but I get it. You know, it does make sense that he's uh, overcompensating. Yeah. I get it. But yeah, he yeah, put the tip on spider. <laughs> he's a dick on the spider. John <laughs> Peters probably has that tattooed no, in his own dick right does. there. Yeah. You know he does. Shit, that's fashioned after him. Yeah. Even when they're like nice and innocent, if it's not sex jokes, it's, it's some really terrible puns in this movie. Some oh boy, horrible puns! <laughs> horrible puns. This is the one that made me groan the most. So, what kind of fancy name you got picked out for this thing? No, I was thinking something simple. 
Air Gordon. Jesus Christ. You know what? I'm taking us both down. <laughs> yeah, I know. What are you doing? Right, you know, we're we done. <laughs> well, you have to that. die. <laughs> this cannot go on. Because <laughs> Will Smith, being not so much James Gordon, but just sassy Will Smith throughout yeah. this entire movie, is anachronistic enough. Yeah. <laughs> Don't start making jokes about shit that's in the 20th century. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear that shit. The gadgets and the characters just kind of go hand in hand. They just It's almost like the... the it's almost like the gadgets and the characters are just in a constant contest to upstage each other. Yeah, the, the, the longer it goes on. The longer yes. it goes on. The, like, I'm trying to give these gadgets some uh, some credit, man, and they just get sillier. And as they get sillier, the f- people get sillier. Cartoon mallet hit him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what this would have been cool if this was a story about the guy that actually created the Acme Studio or a factory <laughs> yeah. before he started selling to coyotes and shit. <laughs> that kind of would have that would have been cool. Like, a, like an origin story. Yeah, like, yeah, origin yeah, story yeah, like, like the like man Oz, who created like the Acme great factory. Powerful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marvin Acme. Yeah. Before Donald Duck and Daffy Duck start buying it, from It's him. a Warner Brothers movie. They could have stuck Acme on some of that stuff. That's true. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> Wildy Coyote running in the background. I mean, just as an Easter egg, just have sure. that engraved in places. It, just, it, it gets crazy when the steampunk gets kind of silly. Like, there's a moment where they just bring out, because I was talking about the racism and the steampunk, and I thought, oh, it's kind of cool they do all that together. And then it, well, no, there's a point, those two meet, and it just gets stupid. Uh, there's a point where they bring out, <laughs> they bring out kung fu steampunk hillbillies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a, they got a redneck with, with metal with a, uh, a Mortal Kombat blades yeah, on his yeah. hand. Oh yeah, yeah. The one with the metal head. Once yeah. Metal head. <laughs> there he is. The one. Yeah. Oh, and you talk about the puns. No, I, t- I said that one was the worst. But no, this one coming up because everything Will Smith just said. Everybody stop. Stop. I got, Look, I got some new material. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all listen to this shit. I got a good one right here. That's it. No more Mr. Knife Guy. You motherfucker! <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I like my man Loveless as a villain, but they just go too far. They, they turn his ass into a racist transformer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I figured that's what happened. That didn't look like he was going to hit his head on yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Oh, I misjudged. Racism. <laughs> 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 All right, action. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Man, when it got this point, I was like, now, I know this is supposed to be a, a big blockbuster that they spent hundreds of millions of dollars on, but it looks like the Asylum made it. You know what? Somebody the, 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 chat because like like the later the movie gets the green screen like even the them walking in the, so in the desert yep. you can oh, tell yeah. you can tell it's a big halo around it. Yeah. Somebody in the chat they nailed it. They said, "Man, this shit turned to Spy Kids." Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my God. So did so damn that green screen is bad. Yeah, it's yeah. like they ran out of money or something. Jesus, yeah. that green screen is so bad. You look at Kenneth Branagh's head. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I'm looking no, at. No, the yeah. way he's got a, a, a light halo around him. Uh, like they are not in the same scene. No, they are yeah. not. No, then. Oh my wow, god! Wow, they that, are not. That is so cut and paste. You know, he was saying, "Hey, you know what? I know not all these effects look good. I know you can tell this is a green screen, but we were cutting corners, yeah, for the money shot. <laughs> all this shit that looks bad here and looks cheap there. Oh, wait until you see that spider though." That's Spider, boy. This is the big thing right here. You know what? I'm not going to even lie. I like the design. I didn't right notice before, but the spider has a dick. That's a gun. Jesus. No, that's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I want no dick. Yeah. What y'all talking about? I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, that, that, kinda, that's a dick, kind of, yeah. That's a gu- <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. See, now y'all being silly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's us. You're right. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah. You might call it No More Mr. Knife Guy. <laughs> Even Will Smith, like, that spider got a dick. <laughs> he went, he, wow, attention to detail is amazing. He's like, I can't wait to tell my joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, now, like you said, I can kind of, 
the whole thing with the spider gets stupid after a while. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I can I can uh I can let that go. I can let it go. You know, this is your dream right here to have the spider. The spider looks cool, whatever. It's a stupid ass concept, but whatever. But I, I finally just said, all right. Mm, f- you, I'm out. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is bullshit. I'm wondering if it's uh, uh something I want to point out, but go ahead. It might be, it might not be, but the moment I said, f- <clears throat> you, I'm out is when Will Smith came on and dragged. Nah. <laughs> Will Jesus. Smith came. Will Will Amina show Will Amina showed up. Will Will Amina showed up. <laughs> just strolled. Will Amina. No more. Not TV. Will Smith, but Will Amina strolled up in the villain's lair when he had all these soldiers <laughs> and he chirping and shit. Yeah, yeah. When he had all these soldiers and all these people up, and he just rolled up in there shooting fire out his titties. <laughs> I said, I'm fucking, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, (laughs) fuck you. And this little dance routine goes on forever, too. Oh, it does, It does. But yeah, man, you know, hey, look, it's all said and done, the movie, as we all know, don't need to say anything, the movie's a bad film. It was was one of the biggest flops in 1999 when everybody was hitting. Uh, It was a big lesson for a lot of people to learn, especially Will Smith. Will Smith, you know, is... He's like, hey, I was on top of the world at that moment. Why shouldn't is, why shouldn't this have been another one, uh, mm-hmm. big hit? It's, especially when I'm teaming up with the director of Man in Black. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When did Man in Black come out? The year 97. before. 97. 97. Was it 97? Man in Black was 97. Okay. I thought it was 98. But he, Will Smith, in his words, he said, hey, look, you know, maybe we should all be thankful for Wild Wild West. Maybe it weren't for Wild Wild West, you would have had – a worse matrix. Yeah. This something, you know, you, Wild Wild West probably, I mean, we'll never know, but the Wild Wild West probably saved the matrix. So I was going to be in the uh, Val Kilmer was going to be Morpheus. So I probably would have messed the matrix up. I would have ruined it. So I did jaw a favor. <laughs> that's funny, though. I, I, that's, no, but I always thought that about it. I was like, you know what? It, yeah, yeah there, there's no way they would have had a black Neo and a black yeah, Morpheus. Yeah, of course yep. not. Yeah, he knows. He's making, a, he's making a good point there. Yeah. He knows how Hollywood <laughs> I know he works. He doesn't drink, but goddamn, he looks like he's hammered there. <laughs> yeah. He looks like he just woke up. I did y'all a favor. <laughs> now, now freshen this up. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Kiss my ass. They got their camera in my face. Margo! Where you at, girl? <laughs> yeah, he look, he should have like he's drunk. She always hiding. I know. <laughs> 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 she ain't around. He ain't got to hide. Girl, they know you back there. Yeah. You ain't got to hide today. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> the camera's leaving. Uh, well, there you go, folks. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there you go. God damn it. Wild Wild West. Uh, hadn't seen it since 1999. Saw it again. It's still bullshit. <laughs> Some things never change. Yeah, it doesn't get better. No. <laughs>